Hello and welcome back to the Kids Coloring Playground channel. Uh, today we'll continue working on this uh, platform ninja game. Um, I think we're almost done, just a couple more uh, things to do uh, with the ninja and then changing the uh, the uh, uh, the platform once we you know get the portal get into the portal and also you know putting the enemy in place I think we we'll maybe a couple more lessons okay so before we begin please uh, like share and subscribe to our channel and uh, tell your friend also like uh, if you know anyone is interested uh, learning scratch and uh, uh, please tell them and then they can subscribe subscribe to our channel as well okay let's begin. Okay, so what, where we left off last time was we worked on the ninja throw and then the ninja attack also. Uh, we can go over the code a little bit um, just to see, make sure that uh, you know, you're missing anything, you can take a look. So we're gonna move through pretty quick here. Uh, just some of the code, you can pause the video if needed, right? To just check the code. Okay, and we have this on top and here. So this is our main ninja. And this one is our um, attack ninja. Uh, this is the uh, ninja for the throw. Um, throw in the night. Uh, this is the platform. Don't have anything for the sign. The crate we have this kill. Water, set, uh, very simple kill. And then there's a hitbox one. And this is that uh, small knife that will be thrown out from the ninja. Okay, so uh, let's begin. I uh, will work on the uh, the code for the ninja gliding down. Uh, what you can do is you can uh, create a new sprite or you can just duplicate the one that you had earlier. Let's just duplicate this one. We'll put it over here. We'll call ninja glide. Okay, we'll go inside here. We'll change the custom. We'll trash all this guy here. And then we'll uh, upload the, the sprite that we have. Um, let's see um, here. Okay, we're doing the glide, so we're using this guy here. So 0 to 9. Open that up. Okay, we'll trash the first one. This not we need. Okay, we'll do same thing. We're going to do 0, G0, G1. Two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So G0 to G9, this is the gliding, okay? All right, we have the uh, sprite for that. Okay, let's go to the code. Um, zoom out once more, let's take a look. Uh, this is pretty much sim uh, same thing as before. Not much change here. Uh, same thing, right? Go to front layer, go follow in the ninja, same thing. Uh, we don't need this. Uh, we are going to change this. Um, Instead of um, this, we'll do number three. Here we'll do three, and we we'll broadcast a new message called glide three. Let's call it three because that's number three. Okay, and we'll go back over here. This ninja will select uh, glide three. Okay, if he's not dying. Uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to add something. Uh, we're going to have to change the gravity uh, so we won't go down as fast. Okay, that's a set gravity set. Okay, we can put that over here. Uh, set gravity. Well, I think the default is like 1. We'll turn it negative 0.15, something like that. Negative one was the default, and um, after that, uh, we have to uh, here this repeat. We are going to have another one actually. We want to glide all the way to the bottom, so we have to say 
this will copy this we'll throw in here this is until it goes to the end let's drag all this out put this uh, repeat until it goes to touching the platform and keep on repeating this custom so if it's high up it will go longer okay okay and then we'll put these in okay all right okay we we'll have to go back to the uh, ninja um we, instead of show two we are going to make a new message that is show three so this is going to tell the ninja to show back up after this is done we'll duplicate this here we call it show three can zoom in a little bit okay we have one for the attack two for the throw three for the collide okay and also we want to set the gravity back to one since we changed that right? so let to say set gravity back to negative one okay okay let's test it out real quick and see how it goes okay we'll jump up and push three as you can see he can't glide down I slowly come down okay all right we're done with the glide so um, so you can see it's kind of slow down a little bit right before it drops okay all right we're done with glide uh, right now uh, we're gonna work next on the gym uh, the after we um, you know destroy the crate well we want to uh, we, we broadcast something called crate broken right so we'll work on the uh, the gym so basically we're gonna make a uh, colorful gym here uh, what I already had I already had a sprite for that um, if you don't just download one online or clear the background whatever you like or something else doesn't have to be a gym but uh, we'll just put a magic gym here okay so what we say is uh, in the beginning when start uh, we're gonna clear the graphics so we're gonna make this gym kind of flashing okay so we'll clear it back to normal and then we we'll have to throw in this forever loop in here and what we're going to do is kind of change the look change the color back effect by 25 and then we're gonna check if it touched the ninja so if the ninja touch it okay so we will say sensing touching the ninja so we'll add a sound here okay fairy dust is already added earlier okay so we'll just say stop sound you don't have to do wait until done because you let it run in the back it's fine and then we'll continue to move on to the next code and let's say we just say think for one second say gym obtain okay and then after that we want to hide this gym then uh, we have to broadcast a message okay we're gonna broadcast a message here and then new message say gym thing okay so that means uh, uh, the ninja picked up the gym okay um, we are going to have some check here so the beginning is high when the crate is broken or we'll show okay and then also um, I think uh, we it checks it right it broadcasts when the where the crate is at right yeah okay so what you can do is um you can wait for the setup for where the crate is going to be set up so what we're going to do is we can do this go back to the gym you don't need another message broadcasting from the crate where it is because the crate kind of wait for the map to generate before it creates right and the gym has to wait for the crate to be generated before the gym can go there 
So what you can do is just you can use the same um, uh, wait message that setup message is fine. Uh, what you can do is uh, you can also hide it in the beginning, right? So in the beginning you can say hi. Okay, and you can say here when I set up, I also want to hide as well because let's say you move on to the next stage, you want to do that. And you can put a uh, wait. We'll wait for two seconds for everything uh, to uh, set up. Anyway, the ninja's not going to be able to get to the crate. I guess I guess maybe this map you can get into two seconds. But if it's like a jumping map, you have to get there, won't get there two seconds. Now let's put in one second, okay? I think it's good now. And then we will say go to. I think that will be enough. Let's just see if it's enough. Go to crate. Okay, let's stop this game. So if I break the crate, you'll see the gym if it all works out. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, so I move over here. So you can see, right? After I get the crate, after I break the crate, you see the gym. And then I can walk the ninja there to obtain the gym. So that is pretty much it. So what we can do is when this uh, gym, uh, obtain gym podcast, we can create the portal. Uh, so what we can do right now is we are going to create a portal sprite. I think I already have it downloaded. Uh, let me see. If not, you can just um, did it a couple of time long time back. I don't, don't remember. Let me see where it is. So uh, that, okay, this is the portal I download from the website. So what you can do is you can just import this GIF. What it does is actually create all the um, all the uh, icons custom for you in the GIF. So we create all this custom, you see, like a kind of spinning right effect for the portal. So what you want to do is after the uh, the uh, the gym is obtained, we're gonna create a portal for the ninja to move to the next level. Okay. So what we want to do is go to the code. Uh, we will go control say start. When green flag click. Okay, we're saying uh, we're gonna make him go to the back layer because we want him not to hide the uh, hide the ninja or something. So go back to the back layer one time. Okay, and then um, when green flag click right, we'll I'll go back to the back layer and also um, wanna hide in the beginning as well. Hi, okay. And then we will, I guess, uh, depending on where we want to put him, it might be a different location. Let's say after obtain the gem, we we'll want to put the portal here. Uh, maybe, make him, I don't know, 50, let's see. 50, still kind of big. Let's say 40. Okay, maybe 40, we'll put him at this position. As you can see, you can put the portal in different location, right? It could be here on this map, but not here on the other map. 35 yeah 35 is good okay so for now uh, for the starting map we can put it at this position but uh, later on we can uh, depending on the map we generate we can put them in different location okay so what we can do is um, mm. we will um, have a forever loop okay so hi, we'll go to the forever loop, uh, and here we'll say if same thing, right? Touching the ninja. So basically, when the ninja walk into the portal, we wanna we wanna make him go to the next stage. So ninja, when touching this ninja, and then you can say. Um, so let's say you have like uh, two different level and then you want to make sure that okay at the third level you kind of stop and you want to make the game in so what you can do is you can use like an if statement let's say we have three level right now so what we can do is say hey uh, i'm gonna check the level actually we are going to check the level mm. if the level is less than three then what we can do is say broadcast. We are going to broadcast the event saying um, 
go to the next level new message next level okay else or podcast you win so that is like you have got to the last level right and then we can say podcast you win and we can do different things with that okay so and then uh, we also need this um, message when we obtain the gym right that when the gym is obtained okay and then you can say um, depending on different level and you can put like the portal in different level let's say in the let's say we're in the level two let me change the platform once let's say level two I have to change the hitbox because I'm using that. So let's say in level two, we want the uh, portal to go back here, right? Let's say here. Then what you can do is like when Jim here, you can check the level, right? And you can say the uh, control here. Say when you obtain the gym, if uh, you can use the operator here. So level one, we're already taken care of, right? So if it's level two, we can check this variable level. If level is two, we want to uh, move it to this position now. So, so before it was this position, that's level one. So level two goes to this position. And then it can say show. Okay. So, uh, and then also when we receive a next level, we want to hide this, right? Um, because once we go to the next level, we also want to hide this, right? So we don't want to show, right? So we gotta go back here saying, when I receive this next level, this guy is podcasting. Next level, I also want to hide this, right? Okay, we can put them here. Okay, this one, let's finish this, we'll show. And then uh, what we can do is uh, using a forever. Control, forever. And you can repeat. I think we don't need a really small weight because this thing actually have a lot of uh, custom. If you can look, it has like 24. So it's a lot of custom. So we don't really need like point weight. 0 0.01 second what you can do is um, just say next custom so let's just if you want to test it out right just click on this you can see this is turning so you want to execute the code just do that no do that okay let's try it one time I mean we haven't fixed everything with the level right let's just just try it one time so we obtain the gym you see the portal comes out we go to the portal a podcast, it has to go to the next level, but we have not to do the coding, right? For the, uh, the platform to change the next level and all, which we can do that next time. Uh, so today what we did was we kind of work on the ninja gliding, right? And we worked on the, uh, the gym and then we work on the portal. I think next time we can uh, work on changing the level and then maybe the uh, monster, the, the Medusa comes out, you can attack them. And that would be pretty much it for the for the series. This uh, ninja platformer. Okay, we can change this now to a portal. Right. Okay. All right. I think we are done here. Uh, okay. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.